Alright, this is part two of the uh, timing belt water pump. And uh, I'm trying to put the belt back on. So you don't have to take off any of these any of these pulleys to get the water pump out. Um, you can loosen this bolt here and uh, there's a spring right here. Just take that spring and this will slide this will slide down and to the left. Once you do that, if your belt's not already off, you can just take that off. And then there's the bolts around the water pump. <clears throat> you can take that off. My suggestion is if you're going to do the timing belt, do the water pump. Both the timing belt and the water pump cost me about 60 bucks altogether. So it's definitely worth doing the water pump because they don't last as long as the oil pump. So the, uh, the trick is to line everything back up again. If you look over here, you can see there's a little notch on the can on the crankshaft and then there's a little tiny peg right there so look at the orientation this is more more cocked to uh, about 30 degrees to the to the left and they it, this makes it looks like it's up and down but it's not it's, a, it's about 30 degrees to the left and then the first thing to do is line this up on the crankshaft now the next problem is once you get the belt off there is a hole there's a hole in the uh, right here, right about here, in one of the uh, right about there. There's a hole, and if you get, you have to get a little tiny piece of mirror, a small piece of mirror, and you'll be able to look. When you turn this, you'll see a mark a bearing. It's a, just a straight mark, and you line that hole up so the the hole is right on that line. Now the problem is when you put the uh, when you put the belt on, um, you can't get the slack out of this out of this part here, even by tightening this. So the key trick to it is is you put you put the uh, the belt on with the mark lined up, and then with a wrench on here, 14 millimeter wrench, you turn this and is with no tension on it and let it click over one or two teeth. And then after you do that, pull it this way. Pull it back counterclockwise. And that'll put some tension on this. And then uh, after you get the tension on there, this is, uh, this is about the only other job that's two persons. You get under there with a long bar and push this straight, this idler wheel, push it straight up with a long bar. Push it up, and while you're pushing it up, have someone tighten it. And after they tighten it, then you can put the spring back on. The spring goes right about here, and then um, and then put just just put the uh, the harmonic balancer just just slide it onto this just a little bit, and then you can um, um, turn it two full turns clockwise. And after you turn it two full turns, make sure the belt is still tight, and then check this mark, check the hole and just make sure it's lined up with the mark that's on the bearing cap right behind it. And uh, once you do that, you're all good to go. And, you know, make sure that spring is on. I have no idea what that, that spring does because with, with this loosen, that spring didn't seem to give it enough tension to tighten this up. And then after you uh, tighten this up, what I did is um, I put, there's a, a washer, it's more of a guide, I put that back on. I put the lower timing cover back on. Put put the lower timing cover on, and then just to be on the safe side, I did a uh, I did a a pressure test of all the of all the pistons to make sure I didn't. This is a non-interference engine, but I just wanted to make sure I didn't wreck any pistons or anything like that. And since I was putting out 100 psi, 180 psi on all full cylinders, so I was good to go. Um, I Hook the uh, cable, the uh, negative battery cable back up, and then um, I made sure that the alternator uh, positive wasn't touching anything. And you don't have to hook the alternator up or anything else up. Uh, and um, I, I had taken the spark plugs out. That does make it easier when you're turning the crank to um, if the spark plugs are out. But what we're going to do now is we're going to start the engine, put the spark plugs in, put everything back, put all the spark plug wires back on, and um, and then start it up and make sure it's you know it's running good. 
you know because you don't want to put this whole thing back together and then it's not it's not running good and uh, so you know fire it up run it you know then you know you, then you can double check make sure you're still lined up here and here and then after it's you know run, running a little bit um, I didn't even add water to it I just I didn't run it long enough because I wanted to make sure uh, the thing was running for us and then at, uh, the next step is to put the uh, if it's running good put the top timing cover on um, the harmonic harmonic balancer if you put a little oil on it it should just slide right on it's not pressed on it's not a press fit you can just put the harmonic balancer back on after you put the covers on and then pretty much you do everything in reverse order uh, we'll go back out and we'll make sure you know how to tighten the belts um, on the uh, alternator and air conditioner.